And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create an animated dash line. We need a text element. We use the default text here. Select it and then change it. I'll just use these dashes on my keyboard. You can size them up below. Add a style if you want to change the color. But most important is the character here because that adds white space. The font that you use makes a difference. So the dashes look different depending on what you pick here. But it works with any font. We may want to add a couple of dashes to have a longer element that we can animate later on. There's a character limit though in, in CapCut here in these default text elements. But for the most part you should be fine with the limit. Once you've got it, drag it to the right hand side. Until you can see the start right here. Let us scroll down under text basic until we find the position. Right here, we have X and Y values. You want to memorize the Y value. Center position is zero, which is indicated by this helping guideline. Let's just keep it at zero. If you want to have it higher or lower, just make sure to remember this exact value for y. You may even want to copy it, pressing Ctrl C. But we'll stick to zero and we'll go to the start of our clip. And then we start an animation by left clicking here on our add keyframe option. Then go to the end. We'll stick to zero for y. And then let me delete the number here. And I'll check. Let me go to zero. And there's still a long way we have to go into the negatives by far. Just drag it to the left hand side. Almost minus 30,000 in this case. And then I set the Y value to zero, which was our center line. And the keyframe was automatically generated for this end position. So we have start and end with the same Y value and it goes from right outside of the frame to left outside of the frame. And if I play it, you can see it. It's a little bit fast. To make it slower, we'll just have to make this element longer and then drag the keyframe right here to the end position. Let me play it again. It's slower, but still too fast. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'll hold control and use the mouse wheel. I'll make this even bigger. Again, I drag the animation to the right. And now it's much slower. So this is how you can animate this line. What you now do with it is up to you, obviously. Let me just show you one use case where we will add a masking effect on top. We'll start with this speed. We can live with that. We would use, for example, some footage. Let me import it to media. Put it below our animation here. And if you play it, you can see our animated line is on top. Now we'll add, for example, a text element right here. I'll make it as long as my footage. And let's just say we have a vlog or something. So I'll make this vlog number one. And I want this animated line to be below it. So below our text. I can now reposition the line or our text element, in this case the text. That's a good position right here. We can use that. Next step is to right click on your animated line and then make it a compound clip. Right here. And now we can add a mask. So we go to mask for this specific element and we'll go to start point, find a position where you can see the line and it should end right here where the text ends on the left. Let me reposition the text slightly. I put it a little bit lower. And now I want to have a mask right here. 
you don't want to use the horizontal instead you want to have a rect angle and then adjust it a little bit and that should already be fine let me roll the clip and now you can see how this line only appears under the text that we've created so this would be one use case you can still adjust the speed so this was a little bit too fast i think but we'll have to go now to speed here and adjust it under duration let me make that 100 seconds so it's almost doubled therefore it's half the speed and this is how you can animate a line in CapCut. i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you next time